We're bringing it home, the closing. So the closing is obviously all parts are going to be important, but the closing is going to be important to what you want the, the end viewer to act upon. So a call to action. Even if you're just sharing a story, you should still have some type of call to action. Even if you're not selling something, you just want to share something great that was done. You want to have some type of call to action, uh, direct them to a website, direct them to contact someone or some type of call to action of like, thank you for watching. You can, you can watch more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for staying tuned. And if you want, if you would like to learn more, check out our website and under the, the about us tabs, you'll see all the different activists in our neighborhood. So there's so many different ways to have a call to action. And then within this part two, you can have your motto, mantra, brand mission, right? So all the little cool taglines and things that you want to have, um, you definitely want to save that for the end because now you have your opening that grabbed their attention, the meat and potatoes that told the story. And then now this is your time to tell them how it really came together. You know, whether it be any company and, and you know, um, like the Nike, just do it because you have people just doing it. And at the end, just do it. And it's like, oh, yeah, I saw eight different sports. Yeah, I should just go do it, right? So that's kind of where that comes from. Now, the connection methods, that's going to be more along the lines for social, whether it's email, Instagram, TikTok, um, Vero. I mean, there's a lot of ways, right? So you want to think of like, how can I drive traffic back to connecting? Because the fact of the matter is people will support those few types of people, right? The ones they like, the ones they respect, the ones that they admire, uh, the ones that they, and yeah, I think that's like, the, it might be two other ones, right? But admire and like are different because I might not know them, so I don't really like them, but I admire them. I'm like, wow, Deion Sanders has done a lot from a kid that just was really fast. I admire that. I don't know him to like him, but I admire that. Um, but when people like you, they'll support you. And how do they like you? Because they know you and they talk to you. They can reach out and touch you, whether that's even a video chat, even on Instagram. You know, if you're getting people driving traffic to your Instagram, find ways to just even set up a cool, a cool call and say, hey, let's video chat on Instagram. And, and, you know, I would love to hear more about what you'd like to get from us. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> we'll talk sorry, go ahead. Yep. And <laughs> just want to touch the last thing uh, here. And it's just the end goal of your story. Again, what is the purpose of your story? Are you just telling the story because you want people to know? Are you telling the story because you want to drive it back for a product or service? Are you telling your story because it needs to be told? You know, so you really need to think like, okay, why am I telling the story? It doesn't matter if you're doing it for free or if you're doing it because you're getting paid. Think about your purpose. And when I say your, like you, and obviously if there's any other groups involved, but what's your story and why are you doing it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That um, the connection methods you were talking about, we're always talking in marketing about teaching people or encouraging them to know, like, and trust us. So, and right. right after trust is often action. So again, back to the planning, you know, the opening, the meat and potatoes, and then bringing it home. So I'm going to show you another one of Stive's videos. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and check me out on Facebook. And most importantly, if you're not living authentically, you're not living at all. Hey, one more thing I want to show you. This is a complete package. So this is the video that I'm about to show you is one that Stive's made for me a few years ago. And this, he opens, delivers the meat and potatoes, except it's in a sandwich form. And then he does his clothes at the end. But this is a minute, minute and 23 seconds long, but just watch it. I, I love how this just covers that whole flow we were just covering. What's going on guys? My name is Stives and I'm here today to give you a really cool concept I call the sandwich theory. So check it out. Just like any sandwich, you have two pieces of bread, whatever kind of bread that is. Mine happens to be sweet potato bread. That's just the bread that I love. And then you have your filling, right? Lettuce, tomatoes, mayo, pickles, onions, special sauce if you're into Big Macs, quinoa if you're a vegan. It really doesn't matter, right? But your sandwich is still gonna be very consistent. Same thing with video. You can create an awesome intro and an awesome outro that you're using consistently for brand identity and then fill it in. A lot of the popular YouTubers do it, and that's why I've kind of learned to make my branding videos a lot more efficient and save a lot more time. 
because when I'm working with different clients, I don't wanna to have to think about a different way to make 18 different clients' videos in 18 different ways. If you're working with one client or you're working with one brand or you are the brand or you are in the company where you're creating that type of content, you'd wanna have it to where it's that much more efficient to where as though you have your awesome intro, your awesome outro with great calls to action, and then as you're growing and as you're changing, those things can evolve. You can upgrade from sweet potato bread to maybe rye, but then you wanna also update your outro, and then as you're doing the different filling, it will be a lot easier. You can crank out possibly even three to four videos in one session. Sandwich Theory, have a great night. Yeah, Sandwich Thank Theory, you. and that that's such a, such a great lesson for all of us. And it, it just helps build two things. One is your branding, because if your intro and your outro are the same from video to video, and of course they can be upgraded, there's no, yep. you don't have to get super locked in. But if your intro and outro are the same, and then you're just putting the, you know, different stuffing inside the sandwich, um, that builds your branding. But the other thing that it does is make it easy for you to create videos. You shoot your videos. Now you got your meat and potatoes and you stick it in the middle. Well, I'm mixing metaphors now, but I'm, it, it's past lunch. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Right. So I just, I just want to say also, so the video we just watched with, uh, with coach G, the one who was at the gym, um, I actually did a whole year's worth of content for him in, in two days. Wow. So he wanted to drop one video a week. And guess what he did? He did his homework, got all his speeches and talks together, 30, anywhere from like 30-ish seconds to about a minute. And we did that. We came up with an intro and an outro. So if you go to his page, you'll see they all start the same. What's up? This is Coach Z with Boss 101. And then they all end the same with that same exact, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, follow me. They all exact the exact same way. So guess what happened when he just did his talking thing? I just switched out, boom, next one. And so I can literally just, I was sending him like 10 videos a day. Now I could have just stopped and did all 52 videos because he dropped one video a week, but now we were literally able to get 52 videos out in less than a week. Amazing, yeah, very cool. So I um, <clears throat> wanna be respectful of people's time. We're coming up on an hour. So I wanna stop here and see if anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask for our professional trainer, Stives, while he's here. Anybody have any questions? We covered a lot. And um, <laughs> this, yeah, this uh, training will be available in the video creators roadmap, so you can come back in. I will probably transcribe it as well, so you'll be able to read the text uh, as well as go back over the video content if you like. So <clears throat> I got one more little slide to share with you guys, and that is this one. And this is how you can reach Stives. Um, he's got a video or a website called primeprovisuals.com. You can see his phone number there. If you're interested in hiring a really great professional who obviously knows what he's talking about <clears throat> for any of your video projects, don't be worried about the fact that he's in Baltimore and you may be in Charlottesville or mm -hmm. some place in Northern Virginia. This man travels to the Caribbean on job. So he is uh, definitely not afraid to travel. So um, you can either uh, go ahead and shoot, uh, screenshot this if you'd like, and um, but I will be sending his contact information out so that you can get in touch with Stives if you have any projects or questions because he's one of the most helpful people I've ever met. And I think he would be helpful to you if you've got a question about lighting or backgrounds or any of the other things that go into video creation, so. Anything else anybody would like to add or Stives, you got a wrap up you'd like to wrap? Um, I just wanna say, honestly, feel free to blow me up. Like I genuinely love talking about this stuff. So I don't want you to think like, oh, I don't wanna ask him, he might be busy. Yes, if I'm busy, might not answer. But seriously, even just shooting me a text saying, hey Stives, this is you know Veronica and I have a question about editing. And I'll say, hey, I'll to let you know when I, and then also on the back end, um, I do have an iPhone, but if you don't have an iPhone, we can, uh, you know, video chat via Instagram. But even if you're like, I'm trying to set up this mic I ordered and I'm not getting it, feel free to FaceTime me and I would I would love to help because I've had a lot of great help. Um, and I realized that, you know, it's very invaluable. You know, I have friends that um, that are shooting on ESPN and I'm like, and they're still taking time out to talk to me. So I'm like, I'm very, very, you know, grateful for that because I'm like, man, you're 
over there with LeBron James and you're still like, hey, Sides, did you upgrade your camera yet? And I'm like, you know, so but so when I ask them tips, you know, they they answer. So who am I to to get information, pass it on and not pass that information on? So, yeah, it's really great. <clears throat> um, Stives Pexels account is right here. I'm going to show you what that is. If you're not familiar with Pexels, it's a really fantastic um, resource for free and I underscore free videos and stills. I believe these are all stills on your on your Pexels, right? Stops. No, I have videos. Uh, it says photo and video, but if you okay. change, if you click where it says photo video, you'll see some of my other. I got you. Uh, yeah. So, so these, yeah, you'll see like the views and all that stuff. So. Yeah. So if you want to screenshot this to get this uh, URL or go back to that slide I just showed, um, you can come on here and just download any of these fantastic photographs. Um, some of these would just make really great. That, that you you know you can use stills in your B roll. Yeah, um, you don't have to have to. It doesn't always have to be motion because you can use the um, Ken Burns effect and just you'll learn how to do this in in the editing seg segment. But yeah. there's some absolutely fantastic action shots as well as portraits in his collection, and it's all here available for you. I just love some of these. This guy right here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yeah. All right. So. Well, I really appreciate everybody joining us today. This was a really fun project for me to work on with Stives. And um, seriously, reach out to him if you've got any questions about any of the things that we covered today. And uh, I'll see you all around the horn and in the Video Creators Roadmap. Thank you again, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Super Jeff. cool. Thank you so much.